playing Syracuse in the way that these leads have gone out, I guess, the last three games against them, what is hard about putting them away when you have that advantage? Best defensive team in the league. What, uh, I mean, did you see anything change after the merge goal? Or no, no. We had chances to put it away. We had power plays. We had two posts. Uh, Beersy had him beat uh, on a power play that would have put us up 3 nothing. hit the knob of the stick. You know, you, you need that third goal. They're going to score. You're not going to, you're not going to, you know, it's hard to win one nothing or 2-1. Two, two to one. I mean, they're, they're a really good team, and this is an extremely deep lineup with now the best forward in the American Hockey League back in their lineup. So you got to find a way to get the three, and that's been the issue of the last three games against them. We've played well. We've started well, we've created, we've given ourselves enough looks, not, not as many as we'd like. They're a great defensive team. It's hard to create. They're a big, heavy, old team. Uh, but we had looks to get to three um, throughout the second half of that game, and, and, and we didn't capitalize. You talked uh, this morning about shots, and you weren't in love with the volume coming toward your goal. What did you see tonight? They didn't have a ton. I mean, it was a lot of perimeter stuff. Yeah, I think they only had 30. What do you guys, I guess, have to do to quickly flip the page now and, and get on the road in Belleville, especially what they did here in this building a week ago? We're playing the same team. Uh, Belleville and Syracuse are almost mirrors of each other with, with maybe, you know, take out Barbelay. Um, Belleville's excellent team, really, really deep lineup, uh, extremely old, heavy, physical, eight veterans on it. Um, and, and, you know, uh, Syracuse is, is just heavier and stronger and better than us right now. And we got to change that. And we got to, our younger guys got to decide to change that. Last year, they were better than us at this time last year as well. And we decided we wanted to change it. But we have to decide that, you know, there's a high price to pay to score goals against teams like Belleville and Syracuse. A very high price. And you got to be willing to pay it. They just don't quit, Syracuse. Uh, they're just a really good defensive team that is old, strong, heavy, physical. Um, you know, and then they're, you know, we've got some, some good centers out of our lineup right now um, that hurt us in the face-off circle. I think we were 30% in the face-off circle tonight. So that's not a recipe for success against uh, a team as possession heavy as they are um, because then they can just kind of lean on you and grind on you. Um, and obviously the winning goal is a face-off goal. What's that? Difference in him offensively these last two. Is there any difference or are just putting No difference. He's played excellent. Roseanne has been very good all the way through. Um, his defensive game is, is excellent. He's one of our best penalty killers. Uh, and he's created volumes of chances, four or five high quality chances a game. Um, sometimes they just don't go in, you know, or the plays he makes don't end up going in, right? So um, I don't think there's been anything uh, different the last two games. The short angle yeah. is mistake or passing the skates or? Ah, uh, it's passing the skates. Okay. Yeah, it's passing the skates. And, uh, but I would say that that's one Levi's got to have. That, that went in the middle of the net. You know, he, he's been very good for us. I thought he was solid for us tonight. Um, I thought Beersy played that very well, and we had a back checker coming. And at the end of the day, that, that was a, you know, it's a wrist shot from the top of the circles. So you don't want to give it up. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. But, um, you know, you don't, we, we can't give that up. But normally, with how good Devin is, I would expect that save. Unless it skipped, and it might have. Clay gets the point tonight. How did you feel about his play in this return? I thought he was strong. I thought he was competitive. Um, he was on the puck. He fought for the puck. He made a really good defensive play to create the turnover to send Roseanne in. Um, you know, hit the post in the second period of the power play. That would have been, that would have been a big moment uh, to put that in. Maybe that was the first. I don't know. Um, but but I, liked, I liked his game coming back tonight. Another line that I was kind of looking at pregame, the slagger Warren line, how did you feel they played tonight? They give us good energy, right? All three of them play fast, are competitive, they forecheck well, and they give you good energy in the offensive zone. The play on the front on the corner, where there wasn't a penalty, is kind of a can opener? Yeah, it's not kind of a can opener, it's a can opener. Um, uh, but, I mean, listen, the power plays were 4 to 1 in our favor or whatever it was tonight, so um, the, the refs had nothing to do with that loss. But they did score, right? 
They did score. It was a big play. It was a big play because the because he was banged up, and then I don't that puck doesn't go in the net if we're if he's back defending and and back into the pitcher. Um, and obviously that was a turning point in the game. And then you know they got a fluky power play goal, right? It it, it just bounced in off of uh, Finley's chest. So their first two goals to get back in it are a little bit fortuitous. Credit to them for having earning that those bounces, but. Um, and then, and then you're in the third period in, in a one, you know, tie game with 10 minutes to go. And then at that point, anything can happen. That kid line, uh, Erie, Isaac, and Victor, just why did you put together what you um, I thought they did some good things. I thought they were dangerous at times. I think it's, you know, against a team like this, they need to come up with more pucks. You know, and that's something that I think Rosie and Cooley have got a lot better at. And Victor is getting better at it. But, um, you know, this is a heavy team, and, and it's hard to come up with enough pucks to keep you on offense sometimes. Um, why? I mean, we didn't have a lot of options today with the guys we had out. I mean, you're talking, um, you know, Kisikoff, Yapst, Kozak, Jost, you know, pretty good crew uh, out of the lineup today. Um, I think I'd like to, when Cozy's healthy, get Cozy with those guys, whether he's at center or wing. Um, Cozy's such a good four checker and wins puck battles at such an exceptional clip that he puts his line in offensive situations a lot. So, um, and, and those three are all also extremely close friends. And, and so uh, that's something that maybe in the future we'll be able to take a look at. Jost is up. Jost is up with Buffalo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yapst is yeah. sick. Uh, Clagg is sick. Kozak's out. You know, with an injury, um, I don't know if we'll see him this week or not. Yeah.